In this video, I'll show you how to connect your GoDaddy domain to Google Sites. Now, I'm going to run you through exactly what you need to do step by step, so stay with me. So first, you need to go ahead and go to Google Sites and obviously log in and have a website that you want to connect your domain to. So I'm going to use this example website that I just created. So go ahead and click on your website and then you want to go to the settings cog in the top right hand corner and then you'll see custom domains. So go ahead and click on that. Now we need to go ahead and start the setup. So click start setup and we need to set up a custom domain from a third party because we're going to be using our GoDaddy domain. So go use a domain from a third party, then click next and then you can go ahead and enter in your domain. So I'm on GoDaddy here and I've already logged in. So I'm going to go to my name in the top right, then go to my products and then I'll see all of my domains. So for the video, I'll use knowledgebasehub.com. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this domain. Then we can go back to Google Sites and I can just paste it in here. So we've got www.knowledgebasehub.com. Now it says that this domain is not verified. So what we need to do is go and verify that we own it. So click on verify your ownership. And here you can click continue. Make sure you're on the domain section. So now you're going to get some instructions on how you can actually verify your domain. And here's what you've got to do. So you need to select a record type and you need to go to your domain registration company and copy this TXT record down here into the DNS configuration. So go ahead and go to GoDaddy, find your domain, then go to DNS. And this is very simple here. You go ahead and click on add a new record. You then go to TXT. So you're adding a TXT record in the name you want to type at and then the value you want to go ahead and copy this. Then you can paste in this value here and click save. And that will then save that TXT record. Make sure you delete any existing ads that can be deleted. Then you can go ahead and save the one from Google. So there you go, now, now that's updating. Okay, so now we've got that saved. We can now go back to this page here. We can now click verify. And now Google Sites is gonna verify and you can see ownership verified. So if you've done everything right and you've followed this along, you should get ownership verified. Now we can go to property and then welcome to your new domain property. We can click start. And here you can get like performance stats and things like that. But if we go back to Google Sites here, we can go to user domain from a third party, click next, and then you can just go ahead and type in your domain again. Now it shouldn't have this red error message because it's already been verified. So you can click next. Now we can go ahead and go to our DNS settings and link them together. So now we want to go ahead and create a CNAME record. The value needs to be www. And then the destination needs to be this here. So we'll go to GoDaddy. And because we're already on the records page, we go add new record, CNAME, and then the name here, we need to enter www. So go ahead and paste that in. Now the value, the value needs to be here, this, including the period at the end. Then go ahead and paste that. And then you can just go ahead and save. And if you've got any other records again with WW, you just wanna go ahead and remove them. Okay, so now you can see that these records have been updated. Now we'll go back, we'll click done, and it should now have connected the domain. So there you go, now we've got the domain connected. And it might take up to 24 hours to work, but we can see here, once it's updated on all the servers, it will work. It just takes up to 24 hours to be updated. Just be patient and keep checking on it and it will work eventually.